drifting on packed snow with the throttle nailed and the tail cocked full hooligan is questionable behavior in a $200,000 plus Bentley Continental GT speed, especially when it's a prototype only two-thirds of the way through its final development schedule. But such activity plus three encounters with roving reindeer herds is par for the course when you're embedded with Bentley's top engineers wrapping up their winter test routines near the Arctic Circle in Swedish Lapland. Full disclosure, this report deviates from our first drive review norms. While we did drive a camouflaged third-generation Continental GT, scheduled to appear in final form at this fall's Frankfurt Auto Show. For every minute in the driver's seat we experienced an hour as a passenger. Compensation came in the form of unrestricted dialogue with three of Bentley's top engineers, head of quality Jürgen Kern, powertrain chief Paul Williams, and whole vehicle engineer ring director Cameron Patterson. Bentley's Super Coupe is essentially an 11 tenth scale, five times as expensive, 200 mile per hour Britain built Chevrolet Camaro SS. Other than clinically jaded journalists, no one really needs such a car, though there are scores of lucky souls who want them. Captains of industry, stock market manipulators, oil shakes, and pro athletes, for instance. This is some of the grandest touring that a very large heap of money will buy. While exceeding the GT's previous blend of speed, poise, and luxury sounds like a film entitled Mission, unlikely. That's exactly what the third generation 2000.